Hey everybody, it's Joe from greenlightsound.com and today we're going to look at a specific mixing tool that a lot of beginning mixers don't use and really should and that is a mixing template and how we can build one in Studio One and use it for whatever mixing needs we want and investing this time early on building this mix template will save you a lot of time in future mixes. So when I'm building a template I like to start from the very end of the signal chain and build my way back from there. And the first thing we've got at the end of the signal chain is our mix bus or stereo bus or two bus, whatever you want to call it, where all our audio ends up. So what I'm going to do is add a bus channel here on the mixer view. I'm going to call this the mix bus. I tend to want the final place to be red for my mixes, but you can colorize it if you want to whatever color you want. And then put whatever processing you want on the mix bus. Now for some people, they don't want to put any, some like some mix bus compression, some like a bunch of stuff. I like to put a few things on the mix bus and turn them on and off as needed. To save time, I saved a little FX preset here with some of my typical mix bus processing. First, I've got Slate's virtual mix rack. The only thing on in here is the virtual mix bus, which is like an SSL style console emulation. The rest of these may get used, but probably not. Then I just run the signal through a Fairchild with no compression. It actually adds some really nice sheen to the mix. I've got an SSL style compressor here in the BX townhouse. BX Digital V3 does some really slight EQ stuff, a Pultec for a nice smiley face EQ, and then a tape emulation. But again, as much or as little of this as you want on the mix bus. So now I want to move on to what I call my all tracks, all drums, all bass, all whatever instruments you want that lead into the mix bus. So we'll do another bus channel here. I like to colorize these green, and I'm going to call it all drums. You want to make sure the output of this is the mix bus and I drag it left because in my mind audio is flowing left to right and then we can just duplicate that exact same thing for whatever instruments we want. There we go all done colorized green make sure we're outputting to our sub mix or mix bus for all of these and there's our all tracks all drums all bass guitar keys and vocals. You can add more all background vocals all horns all strings all electronic stuff all synths whatever you want really to fit your mixing style. It's just a basic idea of how we do it. So now our signal flow is our tracks are into our all channels, which go into our mix bus. I like to add a VCA for the all channels. So if I just select them all and right click, I do add VCA for selected channels. I'm going to call this my all VCA. And you can see they're all labeled here for their VCA assignment in the actual mixer channel. And this is a really easy way of soloing the all channels at once or changing their level, which drives into the mix bus here. Now we're going to talk about the actual tracks leading into our all channels and how we can apply some processing to those. So I'm going to make another bus channel here and I'm going to call this my kick sub. I like to colorize my percussion channels kind of a tan color and this output is going to be all drums. I drag it to the left right there and now I apply whatever kick processing I would typically have on there. Your choice. For now I'll just drag an SSL channel strip. But whatever you typically process kick with, just put it on there and you can have it in place, ready to go and route all your kicks to that. We'll do the exact same thing for snare drum, colorize it the same, make sure it's going to all the drums. Uh, channel strip is great. Then what I'd like to also add is a little bit of parallel processing built into the template. So we'll add another bus channel here. This one we're going to name parallel kick and snare. And it's a little bit darker of a tan color here just to differentiate it from the subtracks. And on this, I'll add a DBX 160, which is great for crushing drums. And once that's loaded on in there, we can just add sends whenever we have our processing going to the parallel kick and snare. And then I'll just turn the sends off for now. And they're ready to go in place. When I'm in a mix, I can just pop them on and it's ready. And of course we want it to go to the all drums as well. And the final thing kind of in the drum section that I would add would be either a bus channel or an FX channel. I often like to do it as a bus channel instead. It's an effect, so I'm going to highlight it purple for me, and I'm going to call it drum verb. It's going to go to our all drums again, and I'm going to put whatever reverb I want here. I like Valhalla reverbs. I want to put Valhalla room on. Great, you can choose whatever preset you want here. We've got our drum verb ready to go. So the drums are pretty much done. I've got all my sub processing leading into my all drums, which leads into my mix bus. I also like to do this with the drums. Select all of these tracks 
add VCA for selected channels and have a drum VCA. That will again control all the channels at the same time, making for easy processing, solo them up all at once. There we go. I'm going to do the same exact thing, kind of speed through it, add some stuff for bass, guitar, and vocals, and then cover it once I'm done. All right, so we just really quickly put some more channels in here. And I like to start with my drums on the left. We already talked about the drums here in the drum VCA. I did a bass sub and a bass distortion channel here. And the bass distortion is just decapitator. So if you want some grind to that bass, I can add it on there. You can add a sans amp or something like that if you want to. And these are controlled by the bass VCA. And of course, these go to the all bass channel. I've got a guitar verb, Valhalla Plate, and a guitar delay with Echo Boy, both controlled with the guitar VCA, just ready to go. A lead vocal sub, where the lead vocals will end up. A couple of compressors that I typically use, an 1176 and an LA two-way, two classic compressors. A lead vocal reverb, 7th Heaven, it's like a Brickhasty reverb. A lead vocal delay, we'll go with another Echo Boy here. And these are again on the lead vocal VCA. So I've got a VCA for every group I want. And that of course leads to our alls. All drums, all bass, all guitar, all keys, and all vocals. I didn't do any processing for keys because I typically do them on a one by one basis, but the all is there just to collect them if I want. So once I have whatever I want finished, and you can of course go way deeper than this. My actual template is much larger than this, but I wanted to show you the basics here. Once I do that, I want to go to File, Save as Template. And then here I'm just saving it as example template, name it whatever you want. Hit OK. Done. Template saved. So the next step would be this. When you've got an actual mix, I'll show you in a second. So here we go. Back with a full session now. None of these are colorized or anything yet. I just drug them in. This is the default Studio One colors as you first import your tracks. I just kind of want to show you how the template works now. So all I do to get my template stuff into this session is go to Song, Import Song Data. Then I go to my Studio One templates, and I've got my example template right here. Open that up, and I can choose whatever I want to import. So we always want to have the mix bus, the alls. I don't think I have any keys in this session, so I would leave that out. All my lead vocal stuff, guitar stuff, bass, kick, and everything's in there. You can pick and choose whatever you want. Click OK, and then Studio One will populate the template stuff into the session. Once it does that and instantiates all the plugins like that, you can just route everything as you want. If I go over to the mix view here, you can just make sure like the bass here is sent to the bass sub and whatever routing you want. So you can organize the session however you want after that. But all of my stuff that I did in my template is right there. It's a great way to add some processing already built into the mix. If you like some reverbs or delays, they're right there and ready to go. Real easy way to save time for you in your next mix. And you can apply this to any doll, whatever doll you work in. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already, so we can keep in the loop as to what's coming up next, and I'll see you in the next one.